Good morning to all the staff and the students of John Paul College. Welcome to the 22 school year and to the opening of our school year assembly. Not quite what we had in mind, but we'll do the best we can under the circumstances. Today is an opportunity to welcome new staff to the college, new students to the college, and to recognise the achievements of our VCE and VCAL students and introduce our student leaders for 2022. We also have the opportunity to hear from our college captains as they outline for you the theme for the year. As you view the assembly from your homerooms this morning, we take the opportunity to welcome our 234 new Year 7 students. To our Year 7 students and to the other 13 students in Years 8 to 12, who are also new to the college, a big welcome to you. And we hope that you enjoy your time at John Paul College as part of a vibrant community. To commence the assembly this morning, I'll ask our college captains, Emerson and Gab, to come forward. At John Paul College, we acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders as the first Australians. We recognise the land on which we work is home to the Bunurong and Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to all elders, past, present and emerging. We now introduce Nicole Navarro to lead us in prayer. I invite the college principal, Mr. Visentine, to come forward and light the college candle. It is the visible sign of Christ being with us as we gather, gather in his name. We have another reason for lighting this candle this morning, and that it is to recall that in 43 years this year, since the foundation of John Paul College. So in that spirit of thanksgiving to God,
Nard, Emily Finicaro, and Ryan Smith. Our Due leaders, Maya Williams and Flynn Baldwin. Our Olsen leader, Jasmine Stevenson, and the second leader is, is yet to be appointed. And our Turner captains, Nia Lehman and Riley Scheel. And once again, we congratulate those students and we wish them all the best for their leadership this year. I'll now invite our college captains, Emerson and Gab, to introduce the leadership theme for the year. It's become the practice for our year 12 leadership team to develop a theme. The theme was developed during their leadership day earlier this week and stands as indication of how our year 12 students will approach this year. Gab and Emmy. On Monday, the Year 12 leadership team came together for the second half of our leadership training for 2022. As a team, we discussed what we wanted the theme for 2022 to be and what we wanted it to represent. Many different key concepts came up throughout our discussion. However, the main ones that were emphasised were connections, participation, community and togetherness. We had agreed that it would be important for us to set our focus on a theme that would help to remind every member of our community that they are not alone. So, after much deliberation and brainstorming of different themes and concepts, our leadership team has decided on the theme for 2022 to be, as individual raindrops combine, an ocean is formed. We want to have a theme that could be applied to everyone's journey so that it could be used in your academic and everyday lives. We felt as though this statement could mean many different things to each member of our community, but still convey our main intention. In addition to being able to interpret the theme so that everyone can relate to it, we aim to have it as a reminder of the strength and power that we have as a community. After the hardships of the past couple years, our team thought that it was vital to highlight the importance of showing support for one another and working on strengthening our connections as a college. It has been extremely challenging to keep our social connections strong throughout these times, but now, as we are adjusting to this new normal, we hope to see these connections grow stronger and help everyone to reach their fullest potential. Not only does our theme highlight the importance of unity and connection throughout the community, but it can also represent various parts of our lives. For example, the individual droplets can symbolize the backgrounds, emotions, and traits unique to us as individuals, which combine to make up each person. Another interpretation can be the difficulties we face in life being many different droplets, varying from minor issues to serious dilemmas, accumulating and influencing our lives, the ocean. It is during these challenging circumstances that we can feel out of control and find ourselves focusing on the things that just do not seem to be going right. However, if we are resilient and support one another, we can be uplifting and withstand these tough times, letting the storm which brings these droplets to pass and seeing the beauty and positivity of what comes with the calm ocean it now leaves. The combined droplets in our theme can also be interpreted in many ways such as signifying achievements and accomplishments that we are proud of to the different experiences we have had in both our education and the wider John Paul College community. Our leadership team encourages us all to take this team into our own personal lives as well as within the school community. It is important that we stay connected and support one another throughout this year, participating and contributing for the benefit of everyone. We would like to challenge you all to live out the theme to the best of your abilities. As individual droplets combine, a notion is formed. Thank you. I would now like to hand over to Ms. Baxter, who will be presenting awards. Good morning, everyone. It is my honor and privilege to recognize and celebrate the academic achievements of our year 12 students of 2021. In the presentation today, we, rec we recognise the tremendous hard work and dedication of these students to their subjects. 
I hope you all reflect on the great achievements that these students have undertaken so you, re you can reflect on your own academic goals for 2022. For the VCE Excellence Awards, students that have achieved these awards have shown great achievement in some of the following areas. An ATAR greater than 90, which places them in the top 10% of the state. A study, store, a study score greater than 40, placing them in the top 9% of students in the state. Or the highest study score at John Paul College for their VCE subject. Students who achieved excellence in VCE VCAL Senior have demonstrated success in the following areas. They have demonstrated high levels of skills in their chosen industry, demonstrated consistent work habits in each of their classes at John Paul College, and, and achieved outstanding results in their outcomes. Before we recognise these wonderful students, we will commence by celebrating the College Ducks Award. The College Ducks Award is given to the student who has achieved the highest ATAR score at the college. This student has demonstrated outstand, outstanding academic achievement across all of their subjects and consistent work ethic across many years. Our College Ducks for 2021 is Jessica Bennett's. Please now view the presentation for all of our award winners. Again, a huge congratulations to all of these students for their fantastic results. I encourage all of you to keep pursuing your own academic growth throughout this year. Now to our new staff. We have 21 new members of staff this year and we wish to warmly welcome them all to the John Paul College community. Please view the new staff in the next few slides of this presentation. I would like to now invite Mr. Byzantine to do the principal's reflection. Thank you, Ms. Baxter. I wanted to firstly add my welcome to all of our new students and all of our new staff. It's uh, wonderful to have so many people joining us for the start of their time at John Paul College this year. And I've been particularly impressed with the way that our new students have started in the first uh, day or two of their time at John Paul College. 
it's a great credit to them that they've settled in so quickly. I also want to acknowledge the work that's been done by so many people to ensure that we're ready to start this year. So many people behind the scenes have been working over the last weeks and over the school holidays to make sure that things are ready for students and staff to return. So I'm really grateful for their work. And I want to also acknowledge and congratulate all of our award winners from last year. As Ms Baxter said, it was down to their dedication, their consistent work habits over a period of time that led them to their positive results. It shows that we all need to, again, as Ms Baxter said, set our goals for this year and work diligently over time to achieve them, to achieve our own goals and what we want to for ourselves this year. So I encourage everyone as we start a new year to reflect on what you're hoping to get out of this year. I wanted to just take a moment too to thank our leaders who we've welcomed this morning and who've received their badges and who've made their commitment to our community. I was briefly part of their discussions this week and at the end of last year regarding what they wanted to achieve and their theme. And what struck me out of those discussions was their willingness to work together, their genuine listening to one another, and then their commitment once the team had made a decision to walk forward together to achieve that theme and achieve those goals. Thank you to everyone who's assisted this morning, uh, particularly the IT department who have worked very hard to make this virtual assembly come to life, and to our leaders, a big thank you to you. Uh, before we move off to period one classes, there's just a couple of things I would like to remind all students. I'm asking all students, please, to abide strictly to the mask wearing rules. It makes the teachers 
and the staff of John Paul College, it makes their job so much more difficult if they are constantly having to remind students to wear masks indoors. It's for everybody's benefit that we follow these rules. So I ask you please to abide by the indoor mask wearing rule. Just on that, 